Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at this question. This is from CAT two zero two one slot one. Okay, uh, from SICA topic, simple interest compound interest. So this question here says that Anil invests some money at a fixed rate of interest compounded annually. If the interest accrued uh, during the second and third year are eight zero six point two five and eight six six point seven two, respectively, the interest accrued in uh, INR during the fourth year is nearest to what value? Okay. So you can understand this uh, by a small example, right? First, let's say for example, okay, I have taken a loan of rupees hundred from the bank, okay. So if I took a loan of rupees hundred from the bank and then at the, let's say at a rate of twenty percent per annum CI, okay. So how do I write this year? So let's say it is hundred, okay. After the first year, it becomes one twenty, ah. Uh, then in the second year, again twenty percent interest, it becomes one forty four. Then in the third year, again twenty percent interest that becomes one seventy two point eight like that, है ना? It's twenty percent will be ten percent fourteen point four, so twenty percent twenty eight point eight, correct? So now, uh, what you can see that the interest accrued here is in the first year it is twenty, and second year it is twenty four, and third year is twenty eight point eight. So that's a simple logic, right? So basically, uh, twenty sorry, this twenty four. Okay, there's a simple logic here. Okay, the logic is that interests will also increase in the same ratio. Correct. That means, uh, if the if it if it is a twenty percent increase, so twenty percent increase means twenty to twenty four also shows a twenty percent increase, है ना? And twenty four to twenty eight point eight also shows a twenty percent increase. That means the interest also will keep on incre increasing in the same way, ah, in every year. So next year I can directly say that it should be twenty percent more than this. I can like calculate twenty eight point eight eight. Its twenty percent will be let's say ten percent is ah, uh, I I said twenty percent increase on that, right? So let's say ten percent is two point eight eight. So twenty percent is five point seven six. If I add five point seven six, I'll get thirty four point ah. Uh, Five six. Okay, that's the next year. This will go on. Correct. So now, so coming back to this question, what I can do here is, so I can say that eight uh, zero six. Na so in one year, the interest is eight zero six. Okay, so the interest accrued in the one year, ah, uh, maybe that in the second year is eight zero six. Ah, uh, let's say eight zero six only, right? For example, and this is eight round of interest round of guys. And let's say this is eight sixty six or eight sixty seven. So I can say it is eight sixty seven. Okay, I just round off. So now, what is the percentage increase from here to here? The same will be next year also, no? So for example, if this is the increase in second year, if this is the increase in third year, so is the fourth year I'm asked for? Okay, I can calculate in the same way. What is the but whatever the whatever the percentage increase? Let's say it is X percent increase from here to here. So again, it should be X percent increase from here to here. Correct, right? For example, twenty years or twenty year also, है ना? So now, what is that X percent we can calculate? No, so for example, eight zero. Just take a rough. In, in CAT, you had calculator, okay? So it becomes very easy question in that case. So you can just calculate what what the percent is increase, okay? But in any non calculator exam for like that and IFT, how should you solve it? So I'll say, okay, eight zero six to eight sixty seven. What is the percent is increase here? Increase of sixty one upon eight zero six, okay, into hundred. It's roughly. I can say that it's roughly. Uh, if I say it's ten percent, it's eighty point six. If ten percent is eighty point six, that means roughly eighty one. So if ten percent is eighty one, then you can just just move, move in multiples of twenty, right? So we have got sixty one here. Can I say if ten percent is eighty one? So obviously five percent will be forty, है ना? And then seven point five percent will be sixty, like that. Okay. So now, because and uh, because I have got a sixty one year, that should be around seven point five percent, correct? Average of five and ten percent. So I can say that it's a it's roughly increase of seven point five percent. And what's the best way to calculate seven point five percent? You can just calculate first. You calculate ten percent. Okay. So first you calculate ten percent, then you calculate five uh, percent, and you can do the average year. Okay. That's the best way to calculate seven point five percent. So Similarly, if I, if I observe here, so again I want to increase this value by seven point five percent. What I'll do? Its ten percent is eighty six point seven. So roughly, I can take take its ten percent is its ten percent as eighty six or eighty seven. I it should be even number. So five can be easy, hoga, hai na? So ten percent is eighty six. So I can take it as I can take five percent as forty three, 
and its average will be 7.5 percent so 86 and 43 average 86 plus 43 by 2 is it is 64.5 okay so 64.5 is the average i just add 64.5 here guys if i add 64.5 it becomes 931.5 okay so 806 861 and 931.5 so in the options i can mark option b here that's the correct answer for this okay the simple logic on this, this question was built actually okay so an easy question of course so i hope you got that logic right